Welcome back to Salt and Sanctuary. One of the first things I wanted to point out today is something that I mentioned in a previous episode and I have a little bit of a better understanding of now, but I still don't have a perfect understanding of, is that um, apparently these um, uh, faded hunts, they actually seem to change either each day or every day I logged in. Um, I'm not sure which one it is, um, but this list of hunts here has actually been different every single time I've looked at it. So that's kind of something I would say is interesting. Um, but last time we unlocked the... Um, I already forgot what it's called. Um, the Lumen Stone, which allows us to uh, travel using those um, circles of stones. Um, so we are going to go back to Ashbourne Village because it's been a little while since we've been back to Ashbourne Village. And we know that there's a bunch of Lumen Stones around that can be used to travel. So we're going to go ahead back here for a little bit um, and see if we can find anything new and interesting here. I do say, I will say that's one thing that I, you know, there's a little, there's a couple quality of life things about this game that I, I feel like, you know, would go a long way. Um, one of them would be that um, uh, the ability to travel to any of these stones that I've rested at um, whenever I come back to an area because um, traveling through the same area over and over again, um, especially whenever, like, I'm so strong now that, you know, compared to the, the Ashbourne area, that's traveling through this beginning area, not only is it not terribly interesting, but it also doesn't do a lot for me. Like, I don't gain much by doing this. Um, at the same time, though, I did just travel through this whole thing very, very quickly, so it's not like it is hard or anything. There was a guy here before. He's not here anymore. I wonder if I'll find him somewhere else. Interesting. I'm going to go ahead and hit this stone, because we're in a part of the area now that um, can actually threaten my life, so we're going to go ahead and just make sure that we don't get reset um, back out of this area entirely. But I do remember that somewhere at the top here was a set of these circle of stones. And I am curious to see about what they might do. Oh, it's right, okay, it's right over there. Okay. Now I saw, said that this place can threaten me. Only maybe threaten me. I mean, if that guy hit me, he would have hit me for a lot of damage. So there is that. So where do you go? Oh, interesting. So I can't actually follow this because I actually need multiple Metroidvania upgrades to do this one. Hmm. I think there was another one, though. I really wanted to grab that uh, grappling point, but um, <laughs> despite the fact that I kind of spammed my grapple in the air, the game just would not have it. Have I not investigated this one? Oh, this is the Nameless Cryomancer. Gotcha. Jerk up there hit me. Um... I wanted to say that there was another circle of stones around here somewhere. Aha! There is. There is. But can I not get to that? I don't know if I can. In fact, I'm actually pretty positive that I can't. Hmm. Well. This might have been a fruitless journey. I'm going to head down to the right here. And double check to make sure that I'm not missing anything um, incredibly important. Like maybe there's a. Hmm. This is just the pirate area. Hmm. I don't remember there being any locked shortcuts in the pirate area um, that I can't access, other than like some of these doors here. Most of these doors I have since opened. One 
Well, before we leave Ashbourne entirely, um, there is also the underground that I'm going to do a very quick check through. Figured I might as well just poke that guy a little bit. <laughs> Get him to go away. I'll admit there is a great deal of satisfaction one-shotting these enemies. After not, I wouldn't say having trouble with them, but you know, there's always that feeling of like coming back to an earlier area and be and having a very real understanding of the fact that I've grown more powerful, right? Um, There's every possibility that there's not anything for me to find here. At the same time, though, um, because I'm not only playing this game, I did kind of just also want the uh, the refresher of knowing what all is in here still. Wow, I killed that guy so freaking fast. Compared to every other time I fought him, I felt amazing. The only thing I need now is um, some more defense. So this led to this room where we got this guy. Looks like there's nothing else down here. Yeah, I might I might not have anything I need to do in um in Ashbourne right now. Uh I'm you know, color me surprised. I legitimately thought that uh there would basically be, is this, yeah, that's just that area. There would be basically some exploration in each area right now. Um, but, hmm, maybe that's not the case. Oh, you know what? There is something here. There's this door that we never opened. I bet we have... I bet we have enough now to do it. Okay, so this wasn't a complete waste. We do, we do have enough. This wasn't a complete waste of time. Good, good, good. This appears to be a whole new area, and there's some sort of fancy silver knight down here. Maybe it's not a whole new area. Maybe it's just this guy. I mean, if you're going to give me these kinds of ledges here, I'm going to take advantage of them. I find it interesting that they gave me these ledges, but then they didn't give this guy a way to deal with someone sticking on these ledges. I just got a gray... Um, Soulstone from that, which is a reroll. That's very nice. But that might be everything <laughs> available to me right now. I still haven't found any secret walls. I still haven't found any breakable walls. Um, hmm. This is one of those times where I wish I had a object to return me back to the camp very quickly. So I guess we find our nearest exit. I think there should be one above us, if I understand where I am correctly. It 
so now we know that there is not much reason to come back to Ash Pyre unless we come back here for a nameless hunt or if we have that uh, cloak that we've been told about that lets us kind of fly a little bit. Um, I guess it is back to uh, Corvius Mire then. Actually, in the sake of just kind of catching up and understanding what we have left in each area, I am actually going to hit uh, Golbaron first before we go back to Corvius Mire. I just kind of feel like I'm going to end up missing something. Also, Bolgaron. I might need to write that name down in front of me because I have gotten it wrong consistently. Okay, so we do know there's a circle of stones off to the right here, and I should be able to actually reach this one. It's also interesting that that, right, that shortcut right there hasn't opened itself up. We haven't found a way to open it, I should say. Here is this circle of stones. Uh... I wouldn't say a jumping puzzle. I was about to say a jumping puzzle. A Blaze Pyre Trio. And this would be a nameless? Nameless Aeromancer. I don't really need a lot from an Aeromancer right now. So that just leads me down. I say we check up before we check more down. I'm going to actually check the top of this area and work my way down from it real quick. Um, because this whole area here is very, very vertical and it would be quite easy to hide something. This is, in fact, the top of the trees here. Yeah, this is actually the very top of this whole tree. Okay, I know there's an area over here. Just hitting these as we go along to make sure that, uh, again, we don't get randomly reset. So this, I think... I think, I think this only leads to the... Yeah, this leads to the top levels of the temple. And then we just recently opened this door. But this door didn't lead anywhere. It just led back to praying giants. We also investigated the area to the left of this area that we unlocked. Um, and... I believe that was more or less a dead, de dead end as well. There's a very good chance that um, Corvius Meyer is our currently our only way forward. Hmm. Well, unless I'm missing something pretty big here, I think I'm going to go ahead and head back to town and head to Corvius Meyer. It's actually technically Corvius's Mire, I think, because there's the S the S apostrophe. But um, that's <laughs> it's like Demon Souls. It's kind of very hard to say that extra S at the end of every single sentence. So to be honest, I know that I'm saying it wrong, but I'm skipping a letter because oh, we should have leveled. Um, I'm skipping a letter because that letter is in my personal um, vernacular and ability to speak uh, unnecessary. Okay, so. We can't get up there because... Oh, wait, no, that's... There's a lot right here. So can we do something with this, then? Ooh, there's a guy here to talk to. Inquisitor, I hope you haven't found Corvius Mire too treacherous. There is a place of foul muck and mire, but it was from a long... But it was long ago a popular destination for pilgrims from Dreadstone Peak. They descend to the Great Tree to offer prayers to Varuna. 
If you're looking for a way to reach Dreadstone Peak, I'd suggest making your way to the top of the Great Tree. Sounds like a plan, sir. Can I open this door? One more named mage. So there's another named mage out here somewhere. Hmm. Wasn't there an entrance on the other side? Of there is an entrance on the other side of this tree. Let's see if... Well, that's the fun romancer. That man does have a very fancy hat. I know this, this is a distraction, but I think I might hunt down this hunt Fundamental real quick if I didn't find him quickly. Because I kind of want his hat. That looks suspicious AF. That's what I thought. Hmm. I am not quickly finding him. I think we're just gonna gonna leave. Um, if we do run into a Fundamentor enough times in order to get tracking on him, we'll go after him. Um, also, what's how would we get there? I don't think I can actually make that jump. We'd have to jump there from a higher location can't open that door either. Oh, well, this might do it. It did. Is this going to be a fungal answer? Yeah, I kind of figured that was going to happen. Okay, we're not going to do this right now. Um, because there's an NPC up there that I want to talk to. But we'll do that probably before the end of this episode. Timing on that was pretty close. Greetings, Inquisitor. I require aid in the pursuit and destruction of a nefarious faction of rogue inquisitors in the Shroud Alliance. Will you answer the, the call and aid in their destruction? Sure, you're not going to actually be able to get me to do this anyways, because I'm thinking that this is another multiplayer thing. Um, Oathbound Intervention. Yep. They were very... Um, <clears throat> What would be the word I would use? They were very ambitious with their multiplayer factions, but unfortunately, uh, this game never really took off as much as um, as much as I feel like it should have. Okay, well, we might as well do this real quick then. Oh come on! It lit up in everything. Aimless mage hunt. I should have used the potion beforehand. I always feel like the minions of these guys are more dangerous than these guys themselves sometimes. I guess that's not the case with all of them, though. He went underground somewhere? Oh, I bet he's in this cave off to the left. Yeah, I think he's down here. Go ahead and touch this. Right there. Wait, how do we get to him? Oh, we have to go around, don't we? Just 
go ahead and uh, clear everything out on the way because we have both life steal and focus steal on kill. Although the focus isn't really significant enough that I might actually not be keeping it long term, the focus steal. It's like, it is nice, don't get me wrong, but it's not enough to be a significant change. There's a trap here, so this time we are going to not set off the trap. Good moss fire. Oh, come on. Gotta be careful here because, uh, I really do feel like uh, this guy could end me very quickly if he so chose. Especially when his minions are around. you do that. At least I'm not just going to let it happen. Ah, uh, shot the wrong way. Oh, wow. You turn around fast, bro. Really need, uh, Trying to just get as much lifesteal off of this. Ooh, Twin Ashpire. Very nice. Um, upgrade materials are always very welcome. I'm trying to get... Oh, come on. <laughs> I was just trying to heal. I was trying to say, um, in between stammering uh, and enemies attacking me, is that... Okay. I am down here now. I don't know. How I'm going to go about getting back up there, to be honest. Is there like a fast way up there that I'm not remembering right now? <laughs> oh, these guys. Mm hmm. Yep. Yep. I'll touch this because I think that this is still better than other locations. Uh, this is just my tree friend. If I die, I should come back to this guy. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is leading me in the right direction now. Go ahead and touch this again because this is going to be way closer. Didn't reset enemies, though. I think that would be unwise at this point. And we need to be very careful. What I want to do ideally is <clears throat> I want to find this uh, Green Knight guy and kind of bait him into going off of this cliff here. Or at least just being on the other side of the cliff from me. I drank the antidote a way late there. I uh, thought that I was still poisoned, but uh... okay, put it down gracefully. Last 
mana potion. <clears throat> That's actually really cool to see a um, another mage kind of leaving in slow motion. DPS in, get back out again. I think that this. Oh, I forgot what that did. This fire staff is a little bit more effective against them. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Very nice. I'm going to go ahead and activate this before his bloom has come down. And there goes down another nameless mage. Which means that we should check back with our. Nameless Mage Hunter guy to uh, see if he has any rewards for us. Maybe get something that will actually be a little bit more useful than what we got already. Oh, yeah. What is this? I mean, that looks like an enemy. It's definitely an enemy. Hmm. So this is where I'm supposed to be going. Enemies are definitely harder. <clears throat> I have 27,000, but I don't really want to go back to town right now. We just found a new area. The Fetid Grotto. It's a good name. Okay. All of the chests are making me paranoid. <clears throat> That's a set of the uh, merchant's clothing, I think. seems, with the how this game goes, it seems very likely that we're going to fight some sort of boss here soon. Oh, wow, that jump is very far. Okay. Got me once, but I'm not going to let you get me again. Dryden's Tongue? Awesome. I believe that is an upgrade material for our... Um, our healing flask. Just like a little shortcut over the water. That was very nice, very nice. Some sort of massive plate in the background of a bunch of... The fact that there's torches all over this thing makes this suspicious to me. <laughs> and it's in like the middle of this big underground lake underwater. Which makes it even more suspicious. Uh, okay. Well... Oh, that's poison. So, like, that's actually not just for convenience. That is... <clears throat> when you try and parry and let go of the button, right as the enemy attacks you. I am really sucking for some reason all of a sudden. There we go. Just gotta get those parries in. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and eat some... Um... In fact, you know, this really isn't doing a lot for me. Is there anything else? Yeah, but the rest of them don't do a lot for me either. So, I think, um, yeah, none of those are super important. <laughs> I don't know how you would make that jump. Interesting. Where does this lead? To a new area? Um, yes. <clears throat> this is a 
quite something of an enemy. <clears throat> Just taking a quick drink, sorry. Scary AF looking things. Some seriously, like, Bloodborne esque enemies there. Some Cthulian inspirations, but, um, not that durable. Oh, hey, that's good to know. Um, even though I managed to, uh, get the wall jump several times, I... I mean, you had the high ground. Haven't you heard? And apparently is all it takes to win sometimes, is... Having the high ground. Really, that's not a mimic. I barely believed that. That looks pretty. Oh, I got his helmet again because I killed the nameless version. Huh, that's vaguely interesting, yeah. My current armor is, of course, way better in every regard, just because of the fact that, like, you know... It's all leveled up and everything. Actually, I should check these super fast as well. Max health and stamina. That's acceptable, I guess. I will admit, um, this might be a risky strategy, but this staff being able to give me a whole bunch of lifesteal has made it so I just kind of don't want to... Um... So I've been here before. There was, like, nothing down there. That's really weird. There has to have been something down there. I, has, ha, I have to have missed something. There's no way. Oh, hi, random pyromancer. Aren't you in the wrong area? Oh, look at the, how many hits his minions took. This is a much stronger pyromancer. Um, yep, he is wreck wrecking me. Much stronger Pyromancer. Hmm. Okay, we, we have to go back down there, because there's, there's no way that there's just nothing down there. I mean, like, sure, they gave me, like, armor or whatever, but that can't be it. Right? Can't be. This place is just weird and has like a weird name in all of this. I don't think I can make that jump. I actually am really positive I can't make that jump. But maybe there's something activated about this. Like, is there, um... There is! So what is this? Just a Voipire Trio. Hmm. I mean, I'm... Don't get me wrong, I'm actually pretty excited about that because that's what I need to upgrade my staff. And eventually the uh, um, the high blade that I'm planning on making is upgraded with Void Pyre. But there has to be something going on with this. Hmm. Weird. Very weird. So I need more named mages. Well, I did just remember something I can check. There is a door in the bottom left of Golbaron, Bolbaron, that um, we have not opened. Hello, Arima. We're going to buy, um, use it to resource and focus. Okay. So how much, I know that this takes up Ammo. But how much? Fo Let's go ahead and just burn some focus real quick. So use up five ammo. Seems to have restored 
Mm, you know, for five ammo, that didn't really restore, restore a lot of focus. Hmm. It might be useful if we're like completely out of focus potions. So though, so we're going to leave it on our bar. Um, half spear, half spear, high blade, high blade. Endurance, stamina, don't really need any of those things too much. Um, is there any HP around here? I would very much like some HP. Okay, failing HP, we are going to buy this point of Arcana right here, because later we can spend three um, level ups to get three points of Arcana and to finish off Forbidden Glyphs. So we'll be able to use all staves and special vets like that in the future. Um... Sorry about that. I thought I saw something up there. I might have missed here in this area. Um, I don't think we have anything we can craft. Oh, we can craft that guy's helmet if we wanted to. Can't actually use it because it's class 4 light armor. <clears throat> but we could use it eventually, maybe. I'm going to equip that for a little bit. Hmm. You know, the antidote wouldn't be a terrible thing in the world. Item find rate. Might equip the item find rate while hunting mages as well. Oops, I, shit, I was enhancing, not equipping. My brain just turned off there. I mean, I don't mind. I think I'm gonna wear that. Can't wear it quite yet though. Um, and we are going to probably enhance this once. Ooh, it costs a lot, though. <laughs> I am honestly very surprised that I haven't found more channeling staves. Hmm, I should try this out at some point. Attack power by 50%. It's not like the most impactful thing ever. It's a conviction based staff right there. <laughs> you can also try this out now. Hundred Inch Trolls and Belching Death. I'd have to kill another one of him though. And we still need to find more Sanguimancers um, in order to finish off the stuff we want from this guy and to grab his Blood Razor. Although I will say that uh, this staff right, this sword right here is way more interesting than the Blood Razor because of the fact that it has the Hundred Strolls and the Bunching Death. So this would be from a Necromancer. Um, does that use focus? Yeah. If we could find a staff that scales of Arcane but uses Rage! There we go, Blood Hone. That actually is exact. Okay, so we actually really want this. So we need to find a Sanguinancer. Um, so tempting to upgrade that, but I think one will hold off. Do you have any rumors for me? Mm -hmm. Blood Wrench, Drench Secrets at the very bottom of the Temple of Golbaron. Okay, so I do need to go to Golbaron. I just missed whatever it is that I need to investigate. Bolgaron. Not Golbaron. Bolgaron. Um, so I need to go to the left. I think I can use the temple to get pretty far down pretty quickly. Um, I do remember that there was a door that whenever we investigated it last time, it was like four more uh, named mages or something like that in order to take it down. And in the meantime, since then, I think I have in fact killed four named mages. I don't want to fight you. Like at all. Ooh, almost forgot about the traps. I can sense fortress here. If you don't get the reference, it is Sense Fortress is in Dark Souls 1, which is one of my favorite games of all time. Um, it is a place that is literally just traps. Like, the whole thing is traps from the top to bottom. Um, kind of uh, notoriously hard and kind of rude traps, um, even for a Dark Souls game. Ooh, that's a Necromancer. We want a Sanguimancer. 
Uh, Tomancers are okay, I guess, but like, don't really care. I'm gonna go ahead and rest at this because that guy hit me right as I went out. Um, this is not far enough down. But I don't know if we can go much farther down, so I'm gonna go this way and just because I don't want to backtrack too much, I am going to head this way to try and see if we can find farther down. I will say if you're watching this and you're sitting here going, what the hell are, is Arima doing? You're spending all of your time exploring. I have a little bit of bad news for you. This is kind of something that is a thing that happens in the middle of almost all Metroidvanias, where you're going to have to do a lot of backtracking, a lot of exploring and stuff like that. And it might not be the most entertaining thing in the world, but I will say it is a pretty key part of Metroidvanias. Um, and since they don't really always tell you where to go, it can be very satisfying. Um, and as the person playing it, I will say, it can be very, very satisfying to just be like, oh, I finally found how to open X door or, you know, something like that. So let's see if we can open this. One more named heart. Hmm. Where the hell are we supposed to go then? You know, I realize now that he said in the heart of the... So that is the heart of the Temple of the Hmm. I don't have another named mage hunt right now, though. So I think we have to find one. We only killed one named mage back in... We only killed one named mage back in the... The, uh, the mire, right? Asking you like you can hear me. Yeah. Or like I can hear you. I mean, yeah, you can. Hopefully you can hear me. Jeez. Um, but, uh, hmm. <laughs> There's also a possibility that I'm misunderstanding the hints here. And that there is legitimately something else in the bottom of this temple. As he said, hidden by a, ring, a, a circle of stones. So what's the lowest we can get in the temple? I think this is the lowest we can get in the temple. Ooh, here's another door. Yes, we can open it. Okay, progress. And there's the circle of stones. Yeah, here we go. A bloody secret hidden down here, apparently. Mmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. And here's our Sangromancer. Tira Fasari. So this guy will get us access to the door in the mire, and this guy will also get us access to um, the uh, the door at the bottom of uh, Bolgaron here. So this is, uh, this is not only am I excited to finally find the Sangromancer for real instead of just fighting the um, faded version of him, um, I'm also excited about the fact that um, this is progress in a lot of ways. And he immediately obliterated me. Okay. Sounds like we're up for a fight. I don't mind. It's been a little bit since uh, a mage has truly challenged us. I would say the last really hard one was probably the uh, Thaumamancer, the holy one. He was, pre he was pretty rough. Well, we already got him to run away, so... Maybe I spoke too soon on the challenge basis here. Oh, yeah, I grabbed this because I wanted to try it out. Because we're not really using that other effect, I think. Oh, that's a pretty significant increase in how fast we climb and such. Kind of nice to not get caught out, to be honest. I get one that increases how fast I cast spells. Be really nice.
up a bit and head back in. I mean, I got he got me, but I also got him. We already have enough uh, of those veins to make the sword that we want. So at this point, the major thing that we're getting from fighting him is he up here? That'd be weird, right? The main thing we want from him is like his armor and such now. Oh geez, I did not realize you were a living person. Apologize for not recognizing. I apologize for not recognizing you. Guess you did good or did bad at or uh, did good or die here. Jeez. That would have actually probably killed me. I, I just really don't feel like he's up here. I feel like I'm I'm going the wrong direction. I think he probably teleported somewhere else in the temple. But I also don't want to go the way I think he is and then end up being wrong. Oh, hey. Well, you know you can probably just go home now, right? Like, I opened the way. It's kind of weird that that guy was just chilling there, to be honest. Oh, okay, now he's below us. Yep, yep, I was, um... Kind of both right and wrong at the same time there. Ah, uh, I saw it coming, but I didn't think it was going to hit me. He, um, one of his gargoyles shot, shot out one of, like, a blood bolt thingy. Um, and, uh, it, yeah, it just chased me down. Okay. Let's see if we can grab a shortcut on a higher level of the temple now. Since we've kind of banished him from the lower levels. I think this leads up to a place where we can get another... No, it doesn't. I think I know where I'm going, though. Jerk jumped past two enemies to just grab me. What a jerk. There we go. This is what I was looking for. So on the left side here, this leads back into the temple. And there's a rest point here, which we're going to go ahead and rest at because I have already wasted healing. I remembered that the last possible moment that there was going to be a trap there. Above us. She's that does so much damage. Ah. There's a waypoint on the right side there. I'm getting hit really hard. I need to, so once I get this armor, I need to take a moment and like properly upgrade some armor here. I also need to make sure that I have more than one weapon upgraded. Um, and available for damage types because uh, I don't think I've been keeping up with my lightning weapon here. 
Oh, so apparently I either damaged him enough or he just randomly decided to head farther up here. Is this going to be his actual arena now? So there's iframes when you're picking up items. Just don't mind if I uh, take advantage of the situation here. Whew. I was a little worried that that guy was going to do a lot more. Uh, he's way up top. Interesting. And this guy is running really far. Can I... Do I have a thingy? I do have a thingy. Oops. Fast travel up there. Need to go higher. Need to go higher. This feels like an arena. Yep. Called it. Blood Drunk Blade. Cool name, bro. Did I grab a checkpoint? Please tell me I grabbed the checkpoint. Please grab me a tell me I grabbed the checkpoint anywhere within the entire vicinity of this place. That's not close enough. Oh, that was cool. I actually just watched that um, enemy over there get the death of that on him and he just exploded into dust. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. We're gonna touch this checkpoint. Just because even this would be closer if something terrible goes down. Don't forget about the traps. Jump over the traps. Head out here. Is there a checkpoint? Yeah, there's a checkpoint here. We'll grab this one. I think this will be definitely the closest if this guy decides to wreck us again. Go ahead and uh, use our Guiltless Shard to become human again. And uh, see about getting this guy done. We can do this. He's not actually that hard. I'm just playing badly. Tear of Asari. I mean, I say he's not that hard, but he does actually hit really damn hard. He hits really damn hard. I think I really need to focus on dodging and staying alive and that kind of stuff. I probably have enough Valley Herbs that I literally never have to pick another one again, but I don't have enough strawberries that I can never do that again. And I kind of like the strawberries as just kind of like a little bit of healing in between areas. I just teleported in onto me. So that is that. He's gonna hit me, yep, on the way down. Okay. 
Come on. We got this. Get out of the way of his shit there. Heal up. Watch that. No, no, no. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Greed. That was so much greed. Oh, if I had died because of that greed there, I would have been so angry with myself, bro. Damn. Okay. I realize that I've not been talking to these named mages, so I'm going to talk to this guy. Curious what he has to say. I feel it now. The blood draining from my wasted body. Do you think they'll be proud of you? It doesn't matter. Oh. But it does. Everyone you interact with in Partner's Veil is keeping close tabs on you, and every mistake you make is reflected in every word they speak to you. You've slain many of us, but how many times have you fallen? Surely your disappointments are noted, noted and acted upon. Consider your friends at Partner's Veil, because, to me, they seem like no friends at all. They could be showering you with silver, brilliant armor, sharp weapons, troves of mage salt. They do this to other Inquisitors, but not to you. Curious. Dwell on that. Dwell. You kind of just sound like one of those, um, one of those people who uh, is jealous about the fact that you've lost and uh, is just trying to quite literally talk shit. Um, I mean, he might be right. But it still sounds like he's just talking shit. Because the, the friends, like, he was talking about, you know, oh, well, none of them are the friends there. Friends would shower you with gifts. It's like, that's not what friends are, dude. Friends don't just shower each other with gifts. That's, like, maybe that's why you became a mage. Just no one told you what friends are. Like, play Undertale or something. Learn the meaning of love. I mean, he would play Undertale, you know. Genocide run. Okay, so we're going to make this first. And then... Ah, we need more Hungry Veins. That's unfortunate. But we can at least see how this looks. Is it... It is, like, kind of crazy dapper. To the point of, like, being over the top. <laughs> that has really does not look correct at all. Um, I could even wear... Yeah, I could wear a... Uh, a blindfold as well. Um, so we're going to take this off and put this on. Ooh. That's nice. Interesting. Other than the fact that this is a katana instead of a straight sword, we have a very nice, uh, nice kind of um, uh, English kind of look to us now. Um, don't mind the supervillain vampire vibes that we got going now. Um, ooh, I can actually just realize I can hit this dummy to get rage up, so that we can try this ability. Can I actually use this ability? That's a good question. Class one forbidden glyph. Yes, I can. I might want to... What did it say it did? It sharpens the blade with arcane energy. So I bet it probably helps D 
deal more arcane damage. That would be my guess based off of how it's worded there. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and upgrade this because I really like the attack pattern of these high blades. And if we find more magical high blades in the future, we'll probably make the Licked Necromancer one and such. Um, then um, we will make sure to grab those as well. So that is kind of that sick symbol. So I can take it at least to there. And then... Ooh, wow. This actually just does more damage. Interesting. Very interesting. Is it because I have a whole bunch of Arcana and not very much dexterity? I think that's the case. Also, this is faster. I just realized as well. Um... Yeah, we're gonna upgrade that one more time, and then we're gonna upgrade that one more time, and then... Can I upgrade the armor? Or did I just spend all... I spent everything I just needed to upgrade the armor. This is just kind of, like, too funny, so I'm upgrading that a bunch. Um, because I liked the... I just really like the aesthetic of, um, the eye patch. And, uh, I'm actually very sad that I put on this thing that makes me faster grappling and all that. I don't know if I'm ever going to take it off now. It's, it's too much fun. Too much fun. Hmm. I technically need dexterity. And I like the high blades a lot, so I might grab points of dexterity that kind of lead me towards future high blades. I also want some stamina as well. How many points do I have? I have one more point. Um, we're going to take a point of stamina, but we're going to take a point of stamina somewhere that actually benefits us, like path-wise, if such a thing even exists. Um, it might not be a thing that I can take stamina that helps me, um, it appears to not be a thing. So I'm going to take this point because it leads me towards all of this stuff in place I decide to take glaives and um, half spears later. Yeah. I'm going to take this point of stamina. That helps me a little bit. Uh, man, the grapplings are so fast now with that on. Well then. This has been Salt and Sacrifice. I've been Arima. Hope you guys have been enjoying the video. And uh, hope you have a good evening. Goodbye.